Thank you for your interest in Cyber Patrol's Parental Controls product. The following video will walk you through the chat guard functionality in Cyber Patrol. You first need to open the headquarters by going to Start, All Programs, Cyber Patrol, Headquarters. Once the headquarters toolbar has been opened up, we need to click on the Open HQ button. You'll then need to enter your headquarters password. Once logged into the headquarters, we need to click on the Customize Filter Settings button and then we want to click on the Customize button across from ChatGuard. On this screen you have two options, My Blocked Words and Phrases and Select Chat Programs to Monitor. We'll start with the My Blocked Words and Phrases. You will receive a warning that the next page contains some offensive words. Click Yes to continue. The following pop-up tells you what kind of words and phrases you can block, such as names, schools, addresses, financial data, etc. Click Close to continue. This screen is broken into two sections. The top section is keywords you would like to block for the currently selected user profile. You can select us which user profile you'd like to configure by clicking on the drop-down menu along the top. The bottom section allows you to add global chat guard keywords. This means that any words added to this bottom section will be blocked for all user profiles. One thing to keep in mind when adding chat guard keywords is they must be at least four characters long. So for this example we're going to add Yahoo as a blocked keyword for just this user profile and we will add 717-123 four, five, six, seven as a global chat guard keyword. This means that for the administrator user account, they're not going to be able to type the word Yahoo into any chat window or the phone number seven one seven one two three four five six seven. The phone number will actually be blocked for all of your user profiles. Once you have your lists configured the way that you would like, click on the save button to save those changes. At this point we want to go to the chat programs. You'll notice that by default the AOL Messenger and ICQ and MIRC and other IRC based chat programs are automatically selected. This will cover almost any chat program on the market. However, if you find that your chat program is not being filtered by Cyber Patrol, you can add that program to the list. In this example I'm actually using Internet Explorer to show you how the chat guard functionality works. We also want Internet Explorer to be filtered by ChatGuard, so we'll check this box and click Save. We'll then open Internet Explorer and try to type the word Yahoo, as that was one of our blocked ChatGuard words. You'll notice that I can type in Y-A-H-O, and then as soon as I try to type in the last O, ChatGuard changes that whole string to a string of dots. So if I hit Enter at this point, the browser does not know what to do with that and will not display that page. The same goes in a chat window. If the user would try to type in Yahoo into a chat window, they would be able to type in the Y-A-H-O, and then whenever they tried to type in the last zero, it would change that all to dots. Once you have everything configured the way that you would like, make sure to save those changes. You also have the ability to copy these changes to any other user profile in Cyber Patrol by clicking on the Copy To button. You can select the user that you would like to copy these settings to and then click OK. At this point, the chat guard filtering settings have been copied to that user. This concludes the presentation on chat guard. Thanks again for your interest in Cyber Patrol's Parental Controls product.